The million dollar question is, is the bluegrass down about the Jody Meeks decision? Back from vacation and raring to go, Mary Jo Perino has more on that question. That's right, Nancy. With no Jody, this is the news I come back to, no Jody Meeks. So what does the roster look like now? And how do you see the chemistry of the team changing? Alan Cutler starts our post Jody Meeks look at the Cats. Here's more in tonight's LEX 18 True Blue coverage. After the news broke, which had Jody one relieved former Cat because the decision was over, Jody went to do what he always does, work out. True Blue fans are wondering, with no Jody, who does this? The this is the shooting. Take a look at Kentucky's roster, faster and more athletic than last year. But what about the jump shots? Cal says that Darius Miller gets the first shot. Jody was, without a doubt, the best shooter in the conference from downtown. Darius Miller made 18 of the 202 threes by the Cats last year. There's no reason to believe that he won't have a breakout season as a sophomore. Plus, getting away from Gillespie might also help Miller time. But there is a name that will get very little publicity because it's the unknown. Darnell Dotson, the junior college transfer, can shoot. He's an example of a player, not ranked high, that Cal goes after because the coaches think he's perfect for the dribble drive offense. Some might find it ironic that with all the roster shuffling and cutting that the Cats could be one under the scholarship limit. Cal has said he'd be fine if Kentucky end up with 11 or 12 scholarship players, so that's not an issue. Nor do we expect that open scholarship to be filled. And now there might be more minutes for Eric Bledsoe to play with John Wall, which could keep Bledsoe happy. Alan Cutler, LEX 18 Sports.